day has finally come here in Philadelphia. The Temple Owls will welcome to town the Florida Gators. It is the first ever matchup in the American as the inaugural season gets underway. One of the most storied programs in women's lacrosse, the three-time national champion Owls, taking on one of the more consistent programs these days, the Florida Gators, as they looked continue to defend their title with some familiar foes. We welcome you in on the American Digital Network. Lincoln Rose along with Kit McConico. Great to have you with us on this Saturday afternoon. He's able to come up with it and they back it up and they find the opener. How about the bounce back? Sticking with it there, the Temple Owls find the opening advantage against number 17, Florida key in today's game for Temple. They're going to need to capitalize when they get those free shots, just like Florida did. For Jen Roswich. And this is just textbook right here. Roswich driving in, pulls the defender far enough away from the crease. The inside roll goes low in the 6x6. Six six. The Hilltown PA native doubles her total. Down to Florida. Right down the heart. Temple now with a multiple goal advantage. Opportunity here, eight meters out. No worries. Marin Lowell has been brilliant to them. Matt in the box score. And the rebound comes back out to the Owls. They continue to pepper the pipes of Florida. Past decade. Great pass. Dial up the assist. Gators are back on the board with the scoring strike from Ron Beck. That is goal number 199. Here's eight conference titles over the past eight years, including each year's members of the Big East. Opportunity in transition here. Temple once more. Well, that's Haas's game, even if she wasn't coming from a free position. Pereka. Again denied, point blank. And we are even four goals apiece, Kavanaugh. Ronswich who's made every start this year. Great pass, Owls are back in the box score. And Free position, but Temple has to turn this into points. Well played. Huge save from Hickman. Tried to go low on the senior from Baltimore. Knew where the shot was going. That'll do it. Even. And for the first time today, Florida strikes to take an advantage with 15 seconds to spare before halftime. Just as I say that, wide open at the top of the crease. No one close to Whitaker. Whitaker easily puts that one in to tie it up. Yeah, great response from Florida Haas. Nice little face dodge. Able to juke her defender. UConn and Cincinnati got about an hour head start on us. Vanderbilt and ECU will play tomorrow afternoon. Florida with a 2-1 edge here in the second half, and that has just increased. Inside the eight, biggest deficit of the day. Deja vu, this time, they'll count it. Haas with her fourth goal here in Philadelphia. West Tennessee, West Ginny up in Syracuse, New York. She'll bear witness as her teammates connect. And it's a Familiar connection. Three goals on the year. But it's Hicklin able to stare it down. Hicklin half. But it's more of the same since emerging from the locker room. One, two, ball never touches the ground. A look inside. Martinet there dunks it for the goal. And for the finds, the back of the cage herself. Harris, the junior from Annapolis, Maryland. Hotbed of lacrosse. Great work. Just able to beat her defender. The slide not coming quickly enough. Good stick protection as she beat her defender. Kept the stick in front of her. Knew the trail check was coming. Didn't allow that opportunity. TA title as well. Owls take advantage. Second strike of the second half. 
in the junior making her third appearance in the cage this year. She's just played 10 minutes so far this season. Temple able to strike, finds that eighth goal. One hour of women's lacrosse in the books here in the American and the Florida Gators will climb their way to the top of the standings. A nine goal second half as Florida will take this one in Philly 15 to eight. We'll be back.